Hello everyone, my name is Robert Frere, and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Moon. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we post a new video. Today I want to cover a couple of different methods for downloading an Altrix designer onto your computer. The first is if you have not received a key, you can go to altrix.com and at the top left you can click on free trial. And when you click on free trial then you have the option of a demo or full version. Click on full version. Then within that information, it will give you a box to fill in email and location of where you are. And then it's mandatory that you check this box and agree to receive communication from Altrix. Then you can click on the try now button, in which case it will then uh, begin to download Altrix uh, setup routine onto your uh, PC and you can then run the setup and it will install Altrix Designer with a 14-day license. The second option is if you have already received a key you can go to the Altrix community and from the Altrix community you can go to support and downloads and licenses. So you click on downloads and licenses and then it'll ask you to log in. When you log in, this uh, sometimes takes a few seconds, but don't worry, as long as it still says logging in, you're in good shape. So we're logging in to the Altrix download site. Then when it logs us in, we'll see downloads and licenses we know that we want to download the Altrix Designer. It will show us the latest version, which is right now 2019.4. Click on, on this, and it will then give us options of different types of installs. So normally, if you have admin permissions to your local PC, the best thing to do is to load the Altrix Designer. So I would, you would click on this tab and then download. But before we do that, I also wanted to show you that there is a non-admin Altrix Designer install that you can do if you do not have uh, permission, admin permissions to your local PC. If at all possible, it's best to use the admin installer. So in this case, we can click on that installer and you can see that this is a it will take a little while to run but once you have downloaded it you can run the install and you will get a dialog box that looks like this you can select english or whatever language you prefer and go through the install now once you once you've gone through the install you can go into altrix if you have not set your license you can go into Altrix Designer itself and check on your licenses from that location. So I'm going to open up Altrix Designer here and I will show you how to uh, set the license from within Altrix Designer. So my splash screen is coming up. Now I've got Altrix Designer up here now. When it finishes loading up, I will then go to Options, Manage Licenses, and in Manage Licenses, I can say Activate a New License. From here, if you've received your license, you can, you can copy it. Now, of course, this license number that you're seeing here, I've put random characters in there so this is not a working license but you can take it from
from your email or however you receive the license, paste it into the uh, box here and then activate your license. That concludes this presentation. Thank you very much. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted.